a prehistoric crew. Forgive my shabby appearance. I'm still in my excavation clothes after a day of work. Half day, actually. We finished at lunch today, so I'm taking the chance to do some napping after work. I'm going to do a demonstration for everybody a bit later today. Right now it's 1 o'clock, Friday, July 2nd. Actually, it's closer to 2. I'm going to do my demonstration at 5. Now I've got this raw cobble of Turkish obsidian from Cappadocia. You can see there's lots of faults in it from when the obsidian, when the lava cooled, it kind of left this bubbly kind of surface here. Some large cracks from when this piece split in half at some point in the past. Some cortex here, or some Tina, anyways. Some chalk-like cortex there, but not much. I'm going to turn this into a small conical blade core. We'll see how much good usable obsidian is in the middle of it. I'm thinking I'll have to get rid of most of it, most of the exterior surface. It's pretty good at the bottom. This will be the bottom of the core, this will be the top. Got a pretty good platform to work here already. Use this larger hammer stone. Gonna take my time with this, I don't wanna take any bad strikes. But first I'm gonna have to try and get rid of some of this. I've got a good platform to work with there. There's some really deep voids in there. thick flake right here first. Try and break off a little bit there. Hammerstone might be a little soft for this. But it's the biggest one I have with me right now. That's exactly what I wanted. Good start. Looks like pretty good quality right under the surface there. This is pretty clear. I'll show you in the light later, but I think this might be from the Kyrlai outcrop. Also, East Galuda in the Cappadocian mountain range. Not a lot of good angles to work with. I think I'll have to take one this way so I can set up a platform and then come back this way.
This is a really soft hammer stone. I think it's sandstone. It's not a great surface to try and hit. It's really rounded. We've got to get the get in there somehow. Yeah, that's not going well. It's got more of a smoky gray translucency. Hard to tell with these pieces because they're they've got some of the cortex on the outside, so you can't see all the way through them. a pretty weird angle but I want to try and take this off here get the distal end of the core shaped out better not quite what I wanted but not bad Smaller, slightly harder hammer stone might do the job here.
Sorry about the wind noise, I don't have a proper microphone. The camera might be bobbing, bobbing around a little bit. I could use this as a platform to try and take a thin flake off here. I don't really want to lose too much of the distance. direction.
cause more than I wanted. <laughs> make a small little blade core out of this later end up changing the orientation of this blade core. I was going to use this as the platform, but now I think I might use this. This will be the main face. Got some fixing up to do. It's going to be a much smaller core than I was hoping it would be. Maybe I'll actually use this as the platform. That can be my first blade. I'll prepare the core around that. Try and take out this lump here. Get some decent flakes, blade-like flakes along the way. That was a bad strike. Should use the bigger hammer stone.
probably can't see through it, but I think this actually is the Kyrlai outcrop. I can also show you on the sun later, but it's pretty clear, just a very faint gray color to it. To take a big flake off here and straighten out this face of the core get rid of some more of this rough spot this might be too much but oh well That was okay. I don't know if I'm going to be able to do much more in preparing this. This bad spot's going to have to stay. I can work around it, taking blades off. This angle isn't great. Maybe I can work on that a little bit. Maybe I can try and take a thick flake off here and get this face of the core shaped a little better.
starting to look a little better. Still don't like this bulge there, but that can be improved after some blade removals. sharp edges here. I'm not going to remove any blades on camera here. I was just preparing this core for my, this core for my demonstration later today. I think this is a good angle. That's going to be my first blade. on the term for that right now. It's not a faceted blade, it's a... Yeah, I'll remember at some point later. I'm a little tired right now after a hard day on the mound in the excavation trench. Shelter above us, so we're working in the bright, intense sun. Temperatures are in the mid 30s Celsius right now. do any more and mess this up so I'm just going to leave it as is. Call this a very rough preform for a conical blade core. I'll show it to you a bit later in the process after my demonstration, after I've removed a few blades and then maybe I can remove some more on camera later. That's it for now. Let me show you this obsidian in the sun. You can see how transparent it is. Here's all the flakes I got so far. Got a few smaller usable ones. into a small blade core, maybe a small conical handheld pressure blade core. Gonna try that out later. But first flake. Definitely some good tool blanks there. This is the one little blade. I don't know if this is gonna show up very well on camera, but you can see just how translucent it is. Very light gray transparency, almost perfectly clear. If it was a flat blade, you'd be able to see through it better. I'm going to call that Kyrlai Outcrop, East Galuda Obsidian. My first blade core attempt in over a year actually. I'd say it went not too bad. Not perfect, that's for sure. But it wasn't a complete failure, so that's always good. As always, thanks for watching and see you next time. Cheers. <laughs>